Hi, hello to all of you guys. As I promised on my previous videos that I will upload a video regarding uh, how to collect the seeds for this water spinach or kangkong. So now here is it. We will just uh, go on to the bottom of the stem of this plant and we find it. This is the seeds of the water spinach. It's already uh, matured. So this is the right time to collect to be used on our next planting season. So it's very easy to find. After the flowering of the plant, these uh, seeds will be formed and that uh, it it will mature like this so when you can see that this is already uh, like uh, black in color or like brownish in color it's already matured and ready to collect so that's how to collect the the kangkong or water spinach seeds in our uh, garden so very easy by the way guys as I have uh, also told you before this water spinach I have planted this a year ago last May of 2019 Till then, I'm still continuously harvesting it weekly and uh, use it for my cooking. This was planted hydroponically. I didn't use any synthetic fertilizer to grow on these uh, water spinach. Wherein uh, I used uh, water coming from the rice rinsing and then the banana peels, eggshells and all the kitchen scraps like uh, potato peels, orange peels, lemon peels and a lot of uh, uh, kitchen uh, scraps and garbage so don't throw it away because you can use it as uh, as an ingredients for our uh, composting making so when I put the water to to mix with the composting I uh, mix it with the ratio of 1 is to 10 1 liter of uh, composting to 10 liters of water so and I find the water spinach is growing well. Uh, you can see it here. Uh, there's a vine that will uh, mature or will uh, like uh, will be dried. But don't worry because after two to three days, it will uh, you will find a new shoot will uh, regrow and very amazing. Uh, even uh, uh, an all year through, even winter, summer, I can plant this uh, water spinach. And uh, you see, as I told you earlier or before in my previous videos, that this was planted already more than a year. So it's true that. Uh, when uh, it, it uh, uh, takes like one or more than a year it will consume a lot of water and as I have told you also in my previous video that uh, the secret to not to consume a lot of water by this plant is you have to cut the roots or trim the roots 
at least uh, 3 inches after the bottom of the cups it will not die as I have experienced it didn't die maybe there are some vines that will uh, mature but it will regrow easily so we find more uh, uh, water spinach seeds just go on to the bottom of its stem of its plant and we will find it there just uh, very easy on how to locate that uh, water spinach seeds I have uh, noticed that these uh, seeds will uh, grow or will mature after this plant will bloom its flower after flowering these seeds will uh, uh, mature so maybe uh, after two to three months it will be ready to to uh, collect and uh, be planted so I have a lot of uh, seeds now on my hands and uh, some of them I have already put it on the plastic so later I will show you I will crack by my hand and show you how many seeds inside it depends actually on the size of the seed when it is small uh, seeds it will uh, only give us one to two seeds but if it's a little bit bigger it will give us three to four seeds this is my tiny little garden I have around uh, 25 boxes grow boxes in my backyard in its box I have uh, around 12 to 15 uh, plant how many boxes I have planted here in my backyard garden that is only for water spinach I have more uh, plants for the sweet potato tops I, I also have it here in my garden in my next video I will be showing you uh, on how to plant sweet potato hydroponically by the use again with this uh, compost tea I already have that uh, sweet potato I already soaked it in the water for more than a week now so I saw a lot of uh, roots already and I can transplant it soon and I will uh, show you on how to plant that uh, sweet potato hydroponically with a uh, power of compost tea please watch that uh, next upcoming video and I will uh, show you soon so here already I already collected a lot of uh, uh, seeds from this uh, water spinach or kangkong so I hope you learn on how to collect water spinach seeds for the next planting season so if you are new to my channel please don't forget to support my channel by always hitting the subscribe like share and the bell notification button 
and so with uh, the comments if you have some doubts you have some questions then please don't hesitate to write down on the comments below and I hope I could able to answer all of those questions that may arise So here is the seeds that we have collected from the garden and I will show you how many seeds are there inside of this uh, shell. So I will crack it by my hand to check how many seeds are there inside For this shell, there are three seeds inside. So we'll try another shell and we'll check how many seeds are there inside. So it depends upon the shell if it is bigger in diameter. will give us more seeds inside like three to four seeds but when it is smaller shell it will only give us one to two seeds thank you and god bless always stay safe bye, -bye.